Hi everyone, welcome to Saddlebrook Resort in Wesley Chapel, Florida. I'm Harry Chick, I'm the host of World Tennis. Joining me now, Jason Riley, the Director of Sports Performance here at Saddlebrook, and you've worked with some of the best players in the world, tennis, baseball, and all sorts. Yeah, it's uh, been a good atmosphere down here at Saddlebrook, uh, allowing me to really kind of tailor the program to what the pros need, uh, from rooms to food to the training aspect and uh, really just provides a, a good foundation for these guys to come and get everything they need. Your resume is amazing. You know, you've worked with John Isner, James Blake, also players on the New York Yankees, Philadelphia Phillies. What keeps them coming back to you? I mean, what do you do that other people don't? Well, I think it's uh, looking at the holistic approach to training. It's, it's trying to incorporate all the different, uh, you know, the speed components, the nutrition components, and looking at all the different things that would really affect their overall performance both positively and negatively and putting together a, a plan of action for them to allow for them to succeed. And, and I know you mentioned that you use uh, computer technology as well. You, know, you take pictures of these guys and you show yep. them pictures before and after and they say, I never want to go back to the before, so they just keep <laughs> going back to you. What's up with that? Yeah, we do uh, a couple different things. You know, everything that we do is uh, we try to base off of research uh, from the program design to the nutritional components. Um, and then we use a program called Dartfish Analysis to really break down their movements. So. You know, taking a John Isner, for example, watching him on film on the court, we can break down little nuances or things that we believe that we can fix and then you know, incorporating those into his, his movement plans while he's here training. And what advice would you give uh, young pros and young aspiring college and pro tennis players? What advice would you give them to help their games? Well, seek out uh, good people. Um, I think that that's the, the biggest thing is that you need to find people that are qualified to you know, work with the upper echelon athletes and you know and I think that just providing a good foundation um, you know you don't have to to reinvent the wheel uh, that's the biggest thing everyone wants to come up with a new idea a lot of the old stuff works you just have to put together a, a plan in place to allow for it to work effectively and how often would a guy like John Isner or James Blake have to go to the gym I mean some people say one day's legs one day's arms you know lift every other day what what do you tell someone like yeah that? we we vary it up um, so we'll have where we split lower and upper body we'll do it where we have a bodybuilding split which is more you know arms some days back on other days uh, we'll have a push pull day which means that they're doing quads and you know front basically the whole front of their body um, at one day and then the whole back of their body the other day I think the biggest thing is, is changing up your routines. You know, we try to stick with everything for three weeks at a time. Try to change it up after three weeks so your body is constantly being um, challenged. Uh, you're constantly throwing new things at it, exposing it to new ideas, and that way you keep making progress. And you learned a lot of your tricks in Omaha, Nebraska. I know you started there, then you went up to IMG. Now you, you come to beautiful Saddlebrook, the best place in the world for tennis. So uh, you know, talk about Saddlebrook and what this place has to offer for people looking to better their games, maybe on a vacation right. or just you know for a week or summer. Well, I think it's different than any other place in probably the world. I think that you know the resort atmosphere allows for it to you can come and you can enjoy a vacation and lounging by the pools, you know, enjoying your rooms, good food here. Uh, but if you're coming to train, you know, we have, you know, great things with the Harry Hopman Academy, um, whether you're an adult or a junior aspiring to, you know, be a, pro or a professional tennis player. Uh, you know, from the performance standpoint, we have camps for kids that, you know, run all year long. Um, and then if you want to get more detailed and get into what the pros are doing, uh, you can train at our facility as well and, and really, you know, amp it up a little bit more. Just uh, prepare to be a little sore. <laughs> But it'll be good. Sweat a lot, drink a lot, you yes. know, a lot of water, that is. And <laughs> do you spend a lot of time at the Grand Slams ever? I mean, obviously, you have a great vested interest in these guys like James, John Isner, Victoria Azarenka. But do you ever go out and watch them or mostly on TV? I mean, what's your relationship to the actual tournaments? We try to, to make a presence at every Grand Slam tournament, and we're trying to, to send either myself or another one of my staff members to, you know, some of the smaller tournaments as well. But we're trying to make a presence at all the Grand Slams so that the athletes that we're working with uh, year-round have the ability to work with us while you know the little things that they need while they're training up there so if they need a stretch if they need nutritional advice uh, they need to get a workout in uh, you know post-match doing some rehab stuff so we're trying to make that uh, a good push so we're allowing these athletes to maintain their gains uh, when they're away from us as well Great. And my final question, what are your goals? I mean, the athletes have goals to win Wimbledon, win the French Open. I mean, you, what are your goals as a, a physical trainer and coach? Right. Uh, really to provide the best program for the athletes, uh, to provide a holistic program uh, that, you know, is second to none. Uh, whether that's facilities or just program design, I think it's a combination of both. Um, but really provide them with, with everything that they need to allow for them to, to succeed. 
Awesome. Well, Jason Riley, thank you for joining us, doing a great job here in Wesley Chapel at Saddlebrook Resort.